بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Question does Salafi promote extremism such as bombing buildings, killing innocent Muslims and kuffar? <laughs> Ikhwan, uh, I'm sure by now you're well acquainted with the position of Ahl Sunnah and the position of the people of Salafiyyah. Salafiyya is an ascription, brothers and sisters, the way of the companions, the way of the Sahaba, and the way of the earlier A'imma, the Salaf of this Ummah, ayyuhal al-Ikhwa. And from the main qawaid and principles is their i'tisam bis-sunnah, them clinging to the sunnah. So they're fully acquainted with the lights so of the statement of the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Be aware and be cautious and stay away from ghulu, from extremism. For indeed, those who came before you were destroyed because of ghulu. They are very well acquainted, ayyuhal al-ikhwa, with the lights of the statement of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu advising his talameed and his students, he advised them, alaykum bil ilm. He said, cling to knowledge. Qabla an yuqbab. Wa qabduhu dhihabu ahli. He said, cling to knowledge before it is taken. And it being taken is the death of its carriers, of its people, the scholars. And then he went on to continue, alaykum bil ilm, fa innakum satajiduna aqwaman. يَزْعُمُونَ أَنَّهُمْ يَدْعُونَكُمْ إِلَىٰ كِتَابِ اللَّهِ وَقَدْ نَبَذُوهُ وَرَاءَ ظُهُورِهِمْ Cling to knowledge. Because verily you're going to come across a people who claim that they're calling you to the book of Allah Azza wa Jal while in actuality they've thrown it behind their backs. He said, فَعَلَيْكُمْ بِالْعِلْمِ وَإِيَّاكُمْ وَالتَّبَدُّعْ وَإِيَّاكُمْ وَالتَّنَطُّعْ وَإِيَّاكُمْ وَالتَّعَبْمُقْ وَعَلَيْكُمْ بِالْعَتِيقِ He said, cling to knowledge and stay away from innovation. Stay away from تَنَطُّعْ Stay away from going too far into affairs. وَإِيَّاكُمْ وَالتَّعَمُّقْ And stay away from going too deeply into affairs. And this affair of تَنَطُّعْ is the affair, brothers and sisters, of going into extremism, going beyond the bounds. And that, brothers and sisters, no doubt, uh, was warned against by the Messenger of Allah in another hadith, هَلَكَ الْمُتَنَطِّعُونَ هَلَكَ الْمُتَنَطِّعُونَ هَلَكَ الْمُتَنَطِّعُونَ Destroyed are those who go beyond bounds. Go into extremism. Destroyed are those who go beyond bounds. Destroyed are those who go beyond bounds. So no doubt, brothers and sisters, Salafia does not in any way, shape or form promote extremism or bombing buildings or killing innocent individuals. Ahlul Sunnah, bihamdillah, understand this, the advice of the Messenger of Allah to this Ummah. That indeed, as the Messenger of Allah said in the hadith of Ibn Mas'ud, radiallahu anhum, radiallahu anhu, he mentioned that indeed, إِنَّكُمْ سَتَجِدُونَ بَعْدِ أَثَرَ وَأُمُورٌ تُنْكِرُونَهَا That you are going to find after me athara. That is, you're going to find that the uh, uh, or individuals other than yourselves are going to be given precedence as it relates to your rulers. You're going to see from your rulers, umurun tunkirunaha. You're going to see things that you're not going to like. The companions, they asked, what should we do, O Messenger of Allah, when we see that? Did the Messenger of Allah say, bomb buildings and kill innocent individuals and destroy as many lives as you can? Did the Messenger of Allah say, set for them and plot for them and plan for them? La. The Messenger of Allah, he mentioned, to addun al haqq alladhi alaykum wa tas'arun Allah alladhi lakum. That you carry out the right that is upon you and that you ask Allah Azza wa Jal for your right. The Messenger of Allah likewise mentioned as occurs in the hadith, uh, hadith uh, that occurs in the Sahih of Imam Muslim. وَإِن ضَرَبَ ظَهْرَكْ وَأَخَذَ مَالَكْ Even if he takes, even if he beats your back and takes your wealth. Now if one of us were to stand up and say that right now, we would say that these guys are puppets and these guys are individuals who are working for Bush and Blair and Obama and whoever else. And these guys are individuals who have come to brainwash us uh, into watering down the radical nature of Islam. Which radical nature of Islam, ya khi? This is the statement of the Messenger of Rasulullah Sallam, the statement of Muhammad ibn Abdullah, alayhi salatu wassalam. Wa in dharaba dhaharak wa akhada malak. Even if he beats your back and takes your wealth. Isma' wa ati'. Listen, hear, and obey. 
Brothers and sisters, the origin then is that the likes of these methods and means are never, have never been methods and means utilized by any of the Salaf of this Ummah. In fact, these were methods that were imported into our Ummah. Imported, brothers and sisters, uh, from other radical movements. Marxism and Lenin, Le, yani Leninism and other than that. Movements, brothers and sisters, that they themselves had... Uh, positions against Western bodies, against Western powers. And so individuals from among the Muslim one saw that those methods and means brought about some type of effect. And so when they saw that there was an effect that was achieved by using some of the methods or yani, ter terrorist methods, then they saw that we should import some of that into Islam, incorporate some of that into our deen. For indeed they br it came or the it brought about some effect. And so brothers and sisters, these methods are alien. Our methods, brothers and sisters, that we do not know of. That were not taken from our Salaf, not taken from our Sahaba, Ridwan Allah alayhim. Ikhwan, the Messenger of Allah, look at the, the persecution that they went through in Mecca. Look at what happened to them. Did the Messenger of Allah ever say, well, com my companions, indeed, you will be martyrs and for you is Jannah. Wade into them and kill them. When uh, uh, the mother of Ammar bin Yasir was killed with a spear through her pri private parts. And when his father was killed, what was the statement of the Messenger to them? Let us up and kill them all. Let us take as many lives as we can. The Messenger وسلم, he responded by saying, Sabran, Ya Al Yasir, Fa inna mawidukumul Jannah. Naam, sabran ya al Yasir, fa inna mawidukum al Jannah. Patience, O family of Yasir, because verily that which you have been promised is Jannah. Not my statement, not the statement of Fahd, not the statement of any other scholar or any other ruler or any other individual in the pockets of the Americans or what have you. The statement of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, sabran ya al Yasir. Naam, martyrdom. They were killed and they were persecuted. But well, we didn't find them brothers and sisters embarking upon means such as this. And so we find that these methods are alien to our deen, alien to Islam. Musa alayhi salatu salam. Musa. When Musa was sought, or the aid of Musa was sought, from one of the believers, or one of his followers, when he was being attacked by a kafir, and Musa came to his aid, and he struck the man and killed him. What was the statement of Musa alayhi salatu salam? He said, Hada min amal shaytan. Did he say, well, he's a kafir anyway. His blood doesn't mean anything. He's a non-Muslim anyway. Yeah, and you can kill him, alhamdulillah. I'm Musa. He said, indeed, hada min amal shaytan. This is from the amal and from the works of shaytan. And as long as I live, just as you have forgiven me, O oh Allah, as long as I live, I will never be an aid to the mujrimin. Listen to who he was referring as a mujrim. One of, the, one of the followers, one of his followers, one of Bani Israel. I will never be an aid to the mujrimin. And so, Ikhwan, the origin and the asl is that these methods and means are alien to Islam, alien to Muhammad and his ummah, alien even to the prophets and the messengers who came before. And that is, brother, something that we should understand and make a separation between how we're affected emotionally by what we see and what was the method of the Messenger of in rectification and bringing about change. Wallahu ta'ala.